Fedora Cinnamon versus Linux Mint. Which one should you choose? Are you torn between Fedora Cinnamon and Linux Mint? Which one resigns supreme in terms of user friendliness and performance? In this video, we are diving deep into head to head comparison, revealing the pros and cons of each distro to help you make the right choice. Let's first start with the introduction Fedora Cinnamon versus Linux Mint Cinnamon, the desktop showdown. Welcome to the ultimate desktop showdown. Today, we are comparing two popular Linux distributions, Fedora Cinnamon and Linux Mint Cinnamon. Both are celebrated for their user friendliness and performance, making them favorites among Linux enthusiasts. Fedora Cinnamon blends Fedora's cutting edge technology with the sleek Cinnamon desktop while Linux Mint offers a traditional, beginner-friendly experience. Though they share some similarities, like stability and solid performance, they differ in ways that could sway your decision. In this video, we will explore their installation process, key features, software ecosystems, performance, and more. By the end, you will know exactly which distro suits you best. So, let's get started. Installation and Initial Impressions A Side-by-Side -side Look First up, let's talk about getting these distros up and running. For Fedora Cinnamon, the installation kicks off with the Anaconda installer. It's clean and functional, but it asks for a bit more input, like manual disk partitioning, which might feel daunting for newcomers. Linux Mint Built on Ubuntu uses a simpler installer that's practically foolproof. It walks you through each step with clear prompts, making it a breeze for beginners. Once installed, the desktop experience sets the tone. Fedora Cinnamon greets you with a modern, polished Cinnamon desktop. Think smooth animations and a customizable layout. It comes with essentials like Firefox and LibreOffice. But it's light on extras. Linux Mint delivers a more familiar vibe with a Windows-like taskbar and start menu. It's packed with pre-installed goodies, media codecs, a software manager, and more, giving it an edge for immediate usability. First impressions. Fedora feels snappy and fresh, perfect for those who love a modern look. Mint though, wins on instant comfort and ease, especially for Linux newbies. Now, key features and software. A deeper dive. Now let's dig into what makes each distro tick. Fedora Cinnamon is all about staying ahead of the curve. It runs on Fedora's latest framework, featuring tech like Wayland for smoother graphics and elements of GNOME under the hood. This makes it a playground for tech enthusiasts who crave the newest tools. However, its strict open source focus means you need to add third party repos for things like proprietary drivers or codecs. Linux Mint, meanwhile, prioritizes simplicity and familiarity. Its Cinnamon desktop is initiative with a classic layout that's instantly recognizable to Windows users. Mint shines with its out-of-the-box support for multimedia and a handy software manager that feels like an app store for Linux. It's designed to work without much tinkering. Software-wise, both distros deliver. Fedora's DNF package manager handles RPM packages with precision. Though it's a bit technical, Mint's APT system, paired with Ubuntu's vast repositories, is more approachable, especially with tools like Snaptic. Need popular apps like VLC or GIMP? Both have you covered, but Mint makes it easier like beginners to find and install them. Now, performance and stability. A real-world test. Time to put these distros to the test. We ran benchmarks on identical hardware to compare CPU GPU and RAM performance. 
Fedora Cinnamon often comes out ahead. Thanks to its up-to-date kernel. In rendering test, it was about 10-15% to 15% faster than Mint. It also shines in gaming, with newer drivers giving it a slight boost. However, it uses a bit more RAM at idle, around 1 GB, due to its modern stack. Linux Mint takes a lighter approach, sipping just 700 to 800 MB of RAM at idle. This makes it a champ on older machines or laptops where battery life matters. Stability-wise, both are reliable, but they differ in philosophy. Fedora's six-month release cycle brings frequent updates and occasionally minor bugs. Mint, based on Ubuntu LTS, updates less often, offering a rock-solid experience for those who hate surprises. In daily use, think browsing, streaming, and editing. Both perform flawlessly. For heavy tasks like video editing, Fedora's edge in raw power stands out. Mint though excels in efficiency and ease. Now, conclusion. Which distro is right for you? So, what's the verdict? Let's break it down. First, the user friendliness. Linux Mint takes the crown here. Its familiar design, pre-installed tools, and simple software management make it a dream for beginners or Windows converts. Fedora Cinnamon is a user-friendly tool, but its technically bent suits those comfortable with a bit of setup. Number 2. The Performance Fedora Cinnamon leads the raw speed and cutting-edge tech, ideal for gaming or power users. Linux Mint counters with efficiency, which is perfect for lighter systems. Number 3. The Stability Mint's LTS roots means fewer updates and more reliability. Fedora's frequent releases keep it fresh but might introduce hiccups. So who it's for? Choose Linux Mint if you are new to Linux, value simplicity, or have older hardware. It's the go-to for no fuss, stable experience. Pick Fedora Cinnamon if you are a tech-savvy user who loves the latest features, need top performance, or enjoys tweaking your system. Both distros are fantastic, but your choice hinges on your skill level and goals. Which one are you leaning towards? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Linux deep dives. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Thank you.